Yo YouTube, DN Stokers here. How the fuck are you doing? Today we're doing a spitter review on Smart Water Spitter. We are also going to review this cardboard hat made in Jamaica. And then we're going to do a little Copenhagen Wintergreen review. This is an empty can, but fuck it. Um... I even got a little food review for us later today. So, actually, let's do the food review now. So, I'm going to go get the food. This shit is about to be popping. Alright, so the food we're going to be doing is from... Fuck, my camera just fell. God damn it, son of a whore. Fucking shit. You fucking... Fuck Michael Condre. Alright, so... I don't know if you guys eat at Monocle's Pizzeria. But we're going to do the Monocle's side salad review on how good it is. So, the mixture of it, it has cheese, tomato, carrots, and lettuce. So, I mean, it's, it's a decent side salad. So, we're going to put some ranch dressing on this. Let's see how it tastes. The ranch dressing looks like semen off the bat. Kind of has a tangy, sour taste. So let's pour some ranch on this. Oh my god, it looks like I just shot a little all over it. Alright. So I'll let you guys take a look at this salad. It looks pretty fucking tasty. See it? Yeah. Looks like you just went to a fucking Newberry Cafe and fucking got yourself something to eat. So for the first bite of this, let's. I'm gonna get some tomato in there. Oh, tomato is really squishy, so I don't know if I like it or not. It's not too bad. The ranch actually does taste really good. Now. I don't know. It's alright. But honestly, the restaurant Andy Doing works at makes shittier salads, so it doesn't matter. This is alright. It's called a silo, like you're about to get fucked by an inbred cousin. No. So, I'm gonna take a bite of this. The lettuce tastes like paper. And the ranch is just really, like, tangy, like it, someone semened in it. Kinda like it though. Now, I walked 17 miles through my town today to get one of these salads for the review. I was alright. It took me about 38 minutes. Let's see. When the great Andy Doing told me, When life gives you lemons, you gotta eat a salad. And he also told me he was doing 98 miles an hour while his girlfriend was sucking his dick. Honestly, this salad is making me sick. So, we're done with Monocle's semen salad. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and hop into my hat. Now, you don't see this shirt. It's made by RedneckNation.com. 
Oh yeah. So here's the hat. I got this in Cuba. Okay. If you inspect it, you can tell that it's all cardboard. Like all, every single bite of it is cardboard. Like, some homeless man crafted this with his bed at night. And it's camo, so they can't see you coming, honestly. So first off, I can be like, hey, I'm like a king, and I sip from my fucking cup of Jesusness. Or I could be like, you know what, fuck it. This cup is nice, but I don't want to hold my McDonald's cup. Boom, bada bing. Perfect. You can just set it down, boom, bada bing, it holds it. Or if you put it on your head like this, you look like a haji. Now, I don't know if you want to look like a haji, but you do when you do that, okay? And then you got it like this. You look like an African safari tribesman killing the lion that everybody's going to get pissed at you for. So you can either do that, or you can fucking look like a hajibaji. It's all from cardboard. And the uh, proceeds of this hat went to a lady dying of asthma in Cuba. And I felt so bad for her. So, that's that. Now, we're going to review the Smart Water Spitter. This is Smart Water with Glacio. I don't know how to fucking pronounce that, but it says it. Now, if you want a great deal, go to Amazon.com, put on $35 onto your fucking gift certificate cards, and you can get five cases of Smart Water. That's what I did. So this is a liter bottle, if you couldn't tell. It looks big, but looks may be deceiving. So, we, uh, we're we going to open up this can of Copenhagen Wintergreen. Yeah. Right here, I just cracked it. Can you see that? Right there. So. Oh my god. I don't know. Fuck the dip right now. I don't know if I've told you guys about this. But if you want something at Taco Bell. For a quarter, a dime, or a nickel. Hit me up. Because I'm a professional Taco Bell coin spinner. I win every time. I don't lose. My local Taco Bell kicked me out. And told me I couldn't come back anymore. And they got tired of me winning. So they gave me these free taco coupons. Oh, well, I'm professional at it. Yeah, go to Taco Bell, you fucking don't get out, fucking hermit. Now, they gave me a bunch... They, they gave me a bunch of the fucking thingies. So, yeah, it's like, thank you. I appreciate the thingies. It, it's greatly appreciated. So, let's open this can of dip. It's already open. So the, the lid is hella weird. I don't like the lid. Look at this. Holy hell. I got damn near a full fucking can. Look at that. My cock is hard looking at it. So let's go ahead and fucking shovel some out. And I'm going to go ahead. Oh, that's a pussy pinch. Fuck that. I'm getting more. Alright, throw one in. Now I'm gonna... I'm throwing one in with Proju. He is a... Uh, Middle-aged man that lives in Jerusalem. They call him Proju because his, his family does not like him. And he works at a market full of prunes. And that's all they sell is prunes. And he's Jewish, so Pruju. Now, his real name is... 
I don't know what his real name is. And we got we also got Andy doing 98 miles an hour and a half. So Andy doing 98 miles an hour. You've heard him before. He's a queer. I don't have anything wrong with nothing's wrong with queers. But man, see this smart water bottle? He'll deep throat it like a fucking cock. But I'm not going to hate on him because uh, he can roll the way he wants to roll. That's him, not me. But I don't agree with it. No. Andy Dewing is an 18-year-old in ninth grade in New York City in a high school. He's addicted to marijuana. He's addicted to LSD. And he loves anal. Now, I feel bad for you if you know Andy doing 98 miles an hour. But nothing's worse than a cock farmer. Now, Andy has a friend that fucking raises mean old cocks. He raises a cock from youth to adult. Now, you're kind of thinking, um, yeah, he, he raises them. But, see, Gerald, he likes to name his cocks. So one night he'll go to some dude's house and he'll name the guy's cock. I think it's kind of weird, but it's whatever. But, now, cock farmer Gerald, The cock farmer Gerald, he loves to ride that cock train. He said, give me that cock train and I'll ride it all night long. No, that's kind of weird. Don't, don't laugh at him, but. And. So, cock farmer Gerald is in the sixth grade. And he raises cocks and. You best bet, someone comes at him sideways and he'll give that cock a stroke. And not like beat that cock off. The cock won't work anymore because it'll have a stroke. Now, I don't know if you like him or not, but he thinks great value water is the best. And, oh my god, enough with the cock farmer. I got a friend named Hopping Snake on Xbox Live. He doesn't go and put loads into the washer. He shoots his load into the washer. Like, literally shoots his load into the washer, if you know what I'm saying. He doesn't put his clothes in there. He shoots his fucking load in the washer. It's kind of weird. But, it's the way she goes. But, this dip is a 10 out of 10. He, it's honestly a 10 out of 10. Um... The only thing I don't like about this dip is nothing. It's fucking gorgeous. And if you didn't know, in approximately six hours, D.N. Stokers will be graduated from high school at the age of 18. I will be no longer a kid. I will be a fucking adult. And I'm happy. I'm pumped. I'm ready for this. My parents didn't think I was going to graduate. They threw me out in the fucking streets two months ago, but... Speaking of this, Los Trace G Zebras. That's what those are. Three zebra asses. Um, let's see. Pruju. He's weird. He's a freak. In bed and everything. So... What I don't get right now is nothing. I don't know. But that salad was T1. Actually, it was ass. Got smart water. Spitter. And dip and a cardboard hat. But that's not why I made this video. I made this video for the birthday segment. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm getting tweets incoming right now about whose birthdays it is. And pray, amen. Praise the Lord. The owner of Maui Stop and Shop, it is his birthday. I, happy birthday, Maui. I love your gas station. It's a great gas station. Oh, another one. It's Frank the Tank. He lives with me. It's his birthday. He's 64 years old. I saw, I saw him in Whitey Tidies the other day, and it just absolutely fucking disgusted me, but life's great. Happy birthday to Demi fucking Lovato. I haven't heard her since High School Musical. I I have a birthday that'll blow your fucking mind. It's Kurt Cobain's birthday. Get it? Now see, probably it's a fuckhead. And he doesn't like my video, so he can sit right here on my green fucking chair. That's about to break because someone sat in it and it almost broke because they sat in it. Now, my room's purple. I don't fucking care. No. See? I have an Xbox One, and the console is ass. Don't spend your fucking money on it. It's shitty. Buy a PlayStation 4 or a Nintendo Wii U. I love the Wii U, honestly. No. Mmm. It's Al Sharpton's birthday. Happy birthday, Al Sharpton. It's also Hulk Hogan's birthday. That's uh, also Freddy Krueger's birthday. That's what I was just informed of. You know, see, these Rayovac batteries, they're pretty good. But I, you gotta go with Duracell, man. They're the best. It's uh, whose birthday was it again? It's Pope Francis's birthday. Happy birthday, Pope Francis. I appreciate it. It is also the one and only Don the King Corey's birthday. I don't know who Don Corey is or Don the King Corey, but he's a fucking savage. Now, it's also this is going to fucking amaze you when I tell you this, but it is the number seven Robbie Gordon, Super Speed Energy, Super Stadium Trophy Truck Driver, Bobby Laboni. It is his birthday today, boy. You gotta give Bobby Laboni a yee yee. Now, I, I don't know, but that might just wrap up the video because you can't, you can't finish a video unless you're talking about Bobby Labonte. And he's in our military. Bobby Lee Bonte is in our military, and he drives that number seven Humvee down the fucking Afghani roads with fucking Rusty Wallace sitting on the fucking machine gunner. And boy, do they tear up the streets, I'm telling you. But I honestly don't know anymore. So I'll see you some other time.